about a week ago I completed the t-test training and this is going to be the new evaluation system that teachers uh, will be evaluated on over the next probably decade or so and administrators are going to have to get comfortable actually going through and working with your teachers based upon the t-test and so I wanted to go through and I'm going to do each dimension uh, there are 16 of them so it's going to take a little while but I think it's important because as teachers we want to know uh, how we're going to be looked at when when people walk into the classroom so first of all, the idea of the first dimension, dimension 1.1, is that the teacher designs clear, well-organized, sequential lessons that reflect best practice, align with standards, and are appropriate for diverse learners. Now you can look through there from improvement needed to distinguished at the other end, uh, but the administrators have been told that most of your teachers are going to fall in the proficient range. So uh, this is going to be a little bit of a change. With the PDOS, we oftentimes saw uh, you know a little bit of inflation in regard to performance uh, and there are a lot of reasons why that takes place but now that we started a new one if the administrators are doing it as they've been told to do it then most of your teachers are going to be at the proficient range but what I want to talk about is moving from proficient to distinguished and so you can see that in the proficient range that you have uh, goals that are aligned with the TEKS and you have uh, activities that are relevant to the students and to all to diverse learners and uh, that type of thing but when you move to the distinguished area you can see that what they're really trying to do is create more of a hands-on authentic real-world environment in which you are multidisciplinary and that you have many uh, different types of learning that takes place and you hit the needs of the diverse students that are in your classroom and so what we look at from there is that if you're going to do well in this you've got to first of all start with the TEKS make sure you follow that make sure that within that that you create an interdisciplinary approach so if you're doing something in science you might also inc incorporate something that may be more of a language arts type thing or a math type thing but you want to make it where uh, the multiple disciplines that are in your school all kind of fit together which is pretty much a fairly authentic type way of doing things is that we don't see things separated out in real world and so we want to make it authentic we want to make sure it's deep which is in a lot of ways when you do things uh, authentically and you want to connect with a prior learning and when when applicable integrate technology now here are what the administrators are supposed to look for when they go through and look at these things first of all they want to make sure that your uh, standards that you're using in class are aligned with the TEKS uh, you ought to see a clear uh, vertical alignment from grade to grade and you ought to see a very clear understanding about what you ought to be teaching in that classroom you want to see a good lesson structure uh, designed well paced well and this is an important part because they do ask for at different points that there is time for uh, reflection and understanding uh, what is actually being dealt with with that standard and then you want to have technology integration to help support the overall learning once again, at UT Tyler, multiple programs in place. We're here to help you. Let us know what we can do.